Hello, Dr. Bethany Vollahy here to talk with you about how to select a pair of dental loops that will preserve the health of your neck and not make it worse. vendors and styles of loops on the market today, selecting a pair of dental loops can be a very difficult and confusing process. You have so many things to consider. You've got the clarity, comfort, magnification, but I'm here to talk with you about the one factor that can have the greatest impact on your musculoskeletal health and possibly even your career longevity, and that is ergonomics. So studies show that working with your neck bent forward greater than 20 degrees is significantly associated with neck pain. In order for you to stay within this safe working range of less than 20 degrees of neck flexion, your loops must have a steep declination angle. So declination angle is how steeply your scope angles downward toward the patient's mouth. You can see that how a steeper declination angle enables a more upright posture, while a smaller declination angle causes more forward head bending. So I've measured the postures and declination angles of literally hundreds of dental clinicians and dental students over the past 20 years. And what I found is that in order to keep most dental professionals within a safe working posture, the loops must have at least a 40 degree declination angle. Through the lens loops are the most popular style of loop on the market today. However, I rarely see a through the lens loop with a 40 degree declination angle. Most of these TTL loops have around a 25 to a 35 degree declination angle. Some of my students have told me they ordered TTL loops because the manufacturers promised them a steep 40 degree declination angle. But very often when I measure the declination angle, we find that a much poorer declination was actually delivered to the clinician and then they're forced into an unsafe forward head posture. This is why vertically adjustable flip-up loops are your only guarantee that you'll stay in a safe head posture. With vertically adjustable flip-up loops, you're in control of your declination angle because you can angle the scope as steeply downward as you need to to sit upright and ensure your career longevity and prevent neck pain. So there's so many more things you should know before you purchase a pair of loops. For instance, do you even need a new pair of loops at all? There's three things that you can do to your existing through the lens loops to make them more ergonomic and possibly stay within that safe head posture. We know that there are some vendors that manufacture through the lens loops that actually stay within that safe head posture range. How do you properly measure your working distance? And what type of shield and what size of shield should you select to make your loops the most ergonomic? If you select a pair of flip ups, how should you properly adjust them? And what type of frames are the most ergonomic? I'll be sharing all of this information and much more in my video, Ergonomic Guidelines for Dental Loop Selection. So I hope you'll join me to ensure that you select a pair of loops that will help you have the long and healthy career that you've planned for yourself. Practice in good health.